So in today's video we are going to be swatching the Menage a Moi. I've got seven palettes and I'm like doing them all in the same day so that's why you see me in the same outfit with the same makeup on. Um, so yeah let's go over to the vanity and swatch this beautiful beautiful palette. Right so this is what the Menage a Moi looks like in all its glory. I, I really really do like the packaging. It reminds me of the Boudoir Noir packaging. I'm sure they came out around the same time. Um, I mean correct me if I'm, I'm mistaken but I'm sure it did. So let's have a look. It's not telling me anything that's not intended for the eye area. I can't, I can't see it though if there is. I know they've got a couple of... oh actually yeah. Um, no drama and big T's, they're just the glitters, so everything else is completely eye safe. Um, with glitters, we all know they're not safe for the eye area for Colourpop, um, so I use them, but I don't use them a lot. I'll use them once maybe when I'm testing the palette and um, I probably won't use them again. Um, and if I do, I'll always put a glitter glue down first and go in as carefully as possible with my eyes the being with my eyes being the way they are that I have to do that. Just purely because I had a nasty accident when I was younger. I mean look at this palette guys, it is so so pretty. Um so let's do the swatches. So let's start off with Crave. Which is just I'd say with a cream a cream ivy shade, but it's got a bit of a brown undertone. So that's that one. And then Frillist is next, so that's this one. My battery's gonna go. This would make a really nice inner corner highlight. Then we've got a more. That's beautiful. I don't think there's any super shocks in this palette. Um, then we've got Total Flirt. I'm loving the mattes though. I think the mattes are... So as I was saying before we really got cut off, I really like the mattes. Um, so yeah, they're really, really smooth and creamy. So that one is Total Flirt. So we're moving on to the middle row now called After Midnight. Then Novel, oh that one's super smooth. Then we've got a pressed glitter here um, called Confess, it's really pretty though. Obviously I've swatched these before yesterday so I know how it is, it's a beautiful rose gold. Um, that would look good just by itself with some mattes. I mean look how pigmented it is, it's just one swatch and normally these glitters don't show up that well um, but yeah that one shows up really well um, the next one is Obsession um, then we've got another glitter called Big Tease see that one's not as pigmented But it's still really, really pretty. Um, now, some people might forego this palette just purely because of the pressed glitters. And it's got a sequin shade. No, it's got two sequin shades in it as well. After Midnight and Butterflies. And that could be something that puts people off. I think it's actually only got three shimmers in it. So that's one of the shimmers, Miss You. So that's not ideal um, and then we've got butterflies and then no drama. Right so we actually said no drama wasn't safe for the eye area I think. Let's have a look at this. Yeah no drama has got an asterisk by it. Big T's has got an asterisk by it. Confess 
yeah confess does as well so there's three eyeshadows in this palette that aren't safe for the eye area which I could expect from the glitters because they're not eye safe but no drama I think the only problem with that is going to be the pigmentation and it's staining your eyelids um, and if you're really careful with the glitters I mean obviously you're putting them on your eyes at your own risk um, but I actually do wear them like I said earlier to test the palette out I wouldn't wear them on a regular basis um, but this one is so so pretty I'm, I'm going to be trying it when I test the palette out um, so these are the eyeshadows in the palette what I don't like about this palette I, I can tell you that now right off the bat is you, you only get in three shimmers in it um, so this is more of an inner corner highlight so so really you're only getting two shimmers that you can put all over the lid I mean that might look nice all over the lid for a list um, but then you get in like one, two, three, four, five mattes and then you get in one, two, two mattes you could say you're getting seven mattes in this palette because two of them are sequin shades two press glitters and then um three shimmers i just don't think it's a good ratio like with me when i look at a palette if i would have looked at it a little bit closer i probably would have foregone this palette because the, the fact that you've got two press glitters in and two sequin shades in and not enough shimmers is is not really for me but it might be a gorgeous palette and like i said i really do like the mattes and could wear the mattes by themselves um but yeah on first impressions this is what i'm going off um is i wish it would have had at least one or two more maybe just one more shimmer um maybe pushed it up to four um but yeah it's a beautiful beautiful palette so that's what she looks like they're the swatches once again um really really pretty i can't wait to use it again i don't know when i'm going to be using it just purely because by the time i come to do my this week's shop my stash you won't have seen any of these videos so you'll be getting a sneak peek into the collection and i want i want the whole purpose of these videos is for me to show you what the palettes look like and um swatch them together so i want all those videos to go up on the channel before i'm picking the newer palettes out i do have a couple of palettes that i've not used that i got from beauty boxes by tammy so i might use them or i might just use my um morphe maddie ziegler palette because i really want to use that as well and use my charlotte tilbury as well um i think i might do that this week actually so that's that palette so guys thank you for watching today i really do appreciate your time and support on the channel it means the absolute world to me if you've not already subscribed i would love for you to hit that subscribe button i'm currently working on a giveaway at the moment and i would love for you to be a part of it please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and i will see you in the next one bye guys